All right, hey everybody. Um, so summer is coming up and we are already having really sunny weather here. So I thought we would make some homemade spray sunscreen with all natural ingredients. And there's only three ingredients that are necessary plus two optional. So today we are using a quarter cup of shea butter and a half cup split into two of fractioned coconut oil. Um, other coconut oil will work as well. This is just what I recommend and it's just a bit harder to find sometimes. And then this is the main part of the sunscreen, which is the non nano pure uncoated zinc oxide powder. Um, you only need one tablespoon of this. And then the two optional ingredients are carrot oil, uh, uh, optional essential oil if you want a scent to it. If you don't, then you'll just get the sunscreen smell, which is fine. Okay, so the first step is to take the shea butter into your mix master or in a bowl with a hand mixer and whip it until it is nice and fluffy. And then we will start slowly adding in the rest of the ingredients. So we'll flip this. Okay, wait. Put this in to the mix master. Okay, so now we've got it locked, and we're just gonna mix it for a little bit. It's starting to fluff up on the sides, and once it's a little bit more fluffy, we will add in half of the coconut oil, so that'd be a quarter cup. Okay, so now the shea butter is getting pretty fluffy so if you haven't prepped your coconut oil already get a qu quarter cup of coconut oil and make sure just to make sure it's not confusing it should be melted already um, if you have coconut oil that's been hardened once that is combined we are going to add in the nano nano whatever zinc powder um, and you want to turn off your mix master for that part and use a wooden spoon um, because it could pop if you could pour in the powder um, it'll, it could pop up in your face and this isn't stuff you want to have a large amount in your eyes or anything um, just like you wouldn't want to put direct sunscreen into your eyes you don't want to put the powder into your eyes as well so you want to just slowly um, mix it in to the already whipped coconut oil and shea butter Okay, so the Mix Master has done its job, and we have a nice, I don't know if you can tell, whipped coconut oil and shea butter. Um, and we're gonna grab our wooden spoon, um, and you need to get your pre-measured one tablespoon of uh, zinc powder. Then you're going to take it, drop it into the mixture, and then we're going to Mix it up. <laughs> okay, so you're just going to maybe not put it that close to your face. So again, we're hand mixing. Don't put it in the mix master. And if you need to, do it a very slow mixing um, so that you don't do the mistake where it pops up. And also you're going to mix in the zinc powder until you can tell it's fully combined. The shea butter is a cream color and the powder is white. So um, it'll start to turn from a cream mixture to a fully white one. So you're gonna keep mixing until it's completely combined like so. Um, it should look like whipped cream consistency. Like a heavier whipped cream, you see it like that. And then once it's all combined, you're gonna grab your carrot oil. And this is what I use. And you're just going to shake it a little bit, open it, and take this. And count out approximately five drops. And you're just going to again mix until you feel it is being combined completely and stir, stir, keep on stirring all right and 
then um, you can use any essential oil you want, just a little bit, it, so it is, it's not going to mess up the actual um, sunscreen abilities, but you might want a little bit of scent. So, put like four little drops in. You can put more or less, up to you. Mix that all in. All right. Lastly, you're gonna add in the other quarter cup of your fractioned coconut oil that you put aside. And you're just going to pour it in slowly into the whole mixture. And again, slowly stir that. And it's gonna switch from being like a whipped cream consistency to being much more liquidy. Um, so if you didn't want to do a spray bottle recipe, you could switch it and not put the last little bit of coconut oil in. Um, and then it'll just be like that whipped cream consistency that you lather all over yourself. So that's not necessarily what most people want, but you're welcome to do so. Um, so now you can tell it's much, much more liquidy than before. So you can smell it, make sure it smells how you want to smell when you have sunscreen on. Um, I'm gonna add another essential oil drop. Cool. All right, so the final texture or consistency, again, should look like that for the spray bottle version. Next, I'm going to take this and put it into an old spray bottle that was empty um, that one would have been recycled or thrown out and reuse that instead of buying a new one. So I'm gonna do that next. Okay, so now I'm going to take an old um, off mosquito spray bottle that I cleaned out because um, it was empty. I'm taking a funnel, which you need to make sure you clean very well before you put it back into your kitchen. <laughs> okay. Okay, so um, I was able to use the funnel and get about just over half a bottle. So if you have a bigger spray bottle and want to double it, you can. Um, maybe on your first time making this, since you don't know if it'll fully work for you, um, just do the smaller recipe that I just did. All right, and then, oh my God, I just spilled. Oops. Make sure you clean up really good after because this is all natural, but you don't really want to be eating um, zinc oxide. Everything else you can't consume, so that's good. Um, oh, it got really dark in here. <laughs> the sun went away, I guess. Um, so then you just take this with whatever spray bottle you had used, and you need to make sure that you shake it really well. Just spray it on like regular sunscreen, and thanks. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope this was clear and simple. This recipe only takes about 15 minutes, especially if you have all the ingredients prepped. It could take you even less time. Um, and then you will have sunscreen that will last a decent amount of time and it's all natural and it gives you an opportunity to reuse a spray bottle that you may have otherwise thrown out or attempted to recycle depending on where you live. So thank you for watching and enjoy the sun safely. Shake. <laughs>